Hi my loves, welcome back to the house vlogs episode two. Yes, over the next couple of weeks we're really, it's more going to be Zach and I designing our kitchen. We are going to go with Devol, which is pretty popular for their kitchens. They do a lot of kind of classic designs, shaker kitchens, that sort of thing. And we like the quality, the kitchen in Library Barn at the farm. That's a Devol kitchen, but that's a Sebastian Cox, so not not kind of one of their more tra super traditional styles. Also, I think in Barn Cottage as well, which is another of the buildings at the farm, um, we have a shaker, and it looks really nice. The quality of their kitchens is nice, so we're sort of familiar with them and hoping that we can design something really, really nice with them. Um, Zach and I, when we first bought the house, definitely had some quite grand <laughs> plans for the kitchen and I'm so glad we didn't do what we kind of initially really liked the look of. We looked at all sorts of things like copper kitchens, some more contemporary than others, some more rustic than others, um, but in the end we just decided we're going to go with something fairly traditional that's just going to age really well, you know, it's probably not going to go out of style. You know, it's just going to look classic, it's going to look good and just keep it simple i say that it's definitely not going to be simple in the end so yeah instead of getting um another company maybe to design us something more bespoke which is also more expensive we just thought we would go with deval because we know they make nice kitchens in styles that we like so we have a design appointment booked for not next week but the week after but they recommended obviously that we go into the showroom and have a little look so that we can go into our design appointment really prepared because if we could order it that day that would be fantastic because there's a long lead time. I think it's like four months at the moment from when you order to when they'll deliver your kitchen. So yes, we would really like to get it ordered, especially before we go away again. So we're gonna head to the showrooms today and have a look around. We're also gonna go and pick up some tile samples from Bert and May. Um, we had second thoughts about the tiles that we had picked for the loft bathroom. And so I'm pretty sure I like these Burton May tiles, but I just need to see them in person and get some samples. Maybe I just need to see them in person. Maybe I don't need samples. Although it is really good to get samples, to be honest, because it's good to take them into the room that you are gonna put them in. Because we went and picked flooring for the loft at the reclaimed flooring company, something like that. <laughs> um, they have some gorgeous wood floors, incredible floors some very expensive um but the one we picked for the loft hi baby but we saw them in the shop and the woman actually was really kind and she let us have like these huge samples not just like small samples but like really big samples we had an idea of which one we liked the best and then we took them up to the loft and we really liked a totally different one which looked way too kind of <laughs> There's a baby in the back. Way too kind of green coloured in the shop, but looked just perfect in the loft. Um, so yes, it is probably good. I, I think we will get some samples. But anyway, I'm prepared for burnt make. I think I know what I want. But anyway, we've now we're now caffeined up. Very important stuff. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. I remember going to a lot of furniture shops interior shops as a child um, with both my mum and my dad I had to do both it was boring so failure <laughs> we didn't realize Burton May is not open on the weekends which I think is kind of bad because surely lots of people who are working are looking for tiles on the weekend um, and it's obviously like it's not a space for tradesmen. We're gonna have to go back a different day. That's really annoying. Um, basically the reason I want to go in and buy those samples as well is because they were gonna charge me 95 pounds. 95 British pounds to deliver some samples to me. Which I think is a little bit excessive. Like an expensive delivery fee because obviously tiles are tiles and heavy and they need to be packed, right? For sure. But 95 pounds, no. Zach and I also, actually, this is a house thing. We've ordered loads of samples. 
we've all, first of all, we've ordered loads of tile sam samples before and it's never been that much. And second of all, we just ordered, so this is, this is relevant to you. We just ordered a dresser, like a really nice Georgian dresser, which we're gonna use in our master bathroom. We're gonna put some sinks in it. And we're gonna feel a bit sad for this dresser. Props. But it's gonna get, it's getting sinks in it, whether it likes it or not. Ordered it from Decorative Collective, which if you want to spend Billion pounds. A billion pounds <laughs> on beautiful pieces of old furniture. Get yourself on Decorative Collective. This particular piece was cheaper than a lot of similar sized pieces that we've seen, but it still wasn't that cheap. But hopefully it's going to be beautiful. I mean, we obviously haven't seen it. <laughs> I've bought it. It's, it's arriving uh, next week. But that, the delivery cost for this big, big dresser it was 100 pounds so and i don't know where it's coming from but i don't think it's coming from anywhere close by it is also last time we went in there because we have actually been in there fairly recently when we thought we were getting other tiles and then we just we were in the area and we were like we'll pop in and it was really busy it was like full of loads of people so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to try and get there for like opening time right in we go to the bowl which is open there's two showrooms in the area so let's go <laughs> Apologies to the close up for keeping baby out of shop, but she is determined to be close to, to us today. This is the haberdashery kitchen, the newest kitchen that they have. We really like this kitchen. I think in certain houses it would look beautiful, just like the whole place done in it, but I think it's probably not quite right for this particular house that we're doing. But we really like the island. They're a lot more delicate looking, like it just feels lighter. They do different colours in this kitchen, but we have not seen anyone do a different colour. So we'd like to look at the finishes for those. Yes, very interesting. Your baby. just for the purposes of being thorough. This is the Sebastian Cox kitchen. A bit backlit, but obviously at the farm we have it in a kind of dark blue. I think we've got it in this color. Um, this is a kind of tealy color. And it is very nice, but just not for our project. We are back at the house today and um, I think we've picked some tiles for this bathroom. So it'll be these two from Burton May um, floor tiles and then this green with a kind of cream as well. Burton May did redeem themselves somewhat because Zach went in and uh, the nice lady in there gave him these tile samples for free. I'm really glad I didn't order them online. But yeah, she didn't have the creamy glazed tile sample so we don't have that one but I think it's going to be really nice like you saw in our inspiration image quite similar to that with like a black border between the two different colours the last thing you would have seen was bathroom tiles switching it back to the kitchen and Zach and I are on our way to our design meeting with Deval, which I've been talking about and we're excited it's going to be a few hours I'll film what I can always a bit awkward filming around people but I'll do my best. Uh, we've got to pick basically everything. Zach has made little designs of what he thinks the layout should be, but there's still so much to choose. Yeah, we've got a lot, a lot to do. We're going to their showroom in, is it Luff Loughborough? Um, because they didn't have any design meetings in the London uh, offices and we are on a little bit of a uh, tight timeline because we wanted to get in before we leave on a long trip to America that we're doing. So, and this is also their main showroom, so it should have, we can have a look around, um, which I'm excited about. Yeah, there's a lot going on. 
going on at this showroom. So I'm kind of glad we're coming out to Loughborough. It's obviously been a couple of hours driving, just over two hours. But that's what we're up to today. Exciting stuff. I mean, if we can get this ordered, if not today, then very, very soon, that would be a big, big relief because, you know, there's a long lead time and we want to get in the queue and make sure that it can be done this year. snug room in the kitchen. It's nice to see an example of one. <laughs> Let's have a look in here. These prep tables are really lovely but not enough storage for us sadly I don't think because of the shape of our kitchen um, and everything we have to squeeze in. So we haven't started our design meeting yet but we saw this in the London showroom really like this honed edge really need like a meter long sink yeah. <laughs> it's enormous <laughs> obviously they do them in marble as well but i definitely think we'll be going with a ceramic sink and you can see there's a nice there's a nice example of a haberdashery kitchen in here so we originally wanted an island like this, but again, I don't think it's quite enough storage for us. Right, my love, I've just come down stairs, and I'm actually most interested in this floor. So there's also a flooring company in this building, and um, we think we've decided on terracotta, finally. <laughs> we would have loved to have done wood in the kitchen, but for heating reasons, you can do underfloor heating under wood. It doesn't always work as well. It's not as um, effective. And also uh, the wood floor we wanted, which is a gorgeous reclaimed wood floor. I think it's just way too expensive. So we're definitely thinking terracotta. That's after thinking about many things, tiles, this, that, and the other. I think terracotta is probably what we're, we've landed on. And we've looked at various different terracottas as well, like Bert Burton May do one. Their, their reclaimed ones are quite yellow and then the one they make in the factory is quite pink and fresh. And also I'd be quite worried that it would like oil stain and stuff. Whereas this one, it's obviously kind of been glazed and stuff. And I think it'd be really hard wearing. I like the color, I think it'll look really nice against the green of the cabinets that we're gonna do. So, that is good to know and it's really good to see down here it kind of goes all the way through and i think it's really nice um also look at this gorgeous pantry so i think we're gonna we're not gonna have a double fridge freezer because i don't think we're gonna freeze that much stuff so we're not big freezer people so i think we're gonna get ourselves a proper pantry look at that gorgeous just looking at surfaces guys. I think we might do something like this on the island. Something like this on the countertops underneath the extension. In the extension. And then we're just looking because our, our kitchen side cabinetry is going to be green. But on our island I think we're going to do a different colour. So it's either going to be this black this so they call this green it's not green it definitely looks blue to me just trying to think which will be best looking at the terracottas so apparently they arrive untreated and then they'll like wax or oil it on site and so you can basically pick how dark you want them to go with it i think we'll probably go quite dark this is probably a tiny bit too red shapes as well but I think any other shape will be a bit too busy in that room. 
Hi my loves, me again, coming to round out this vlog because I don't think I finished the vlogging devolve, but we came up with a design that we liked, came home, thought about it, did some minor tweaks, and I think we've got a finished design, which I'm gonna show you now. Super, super exciting, so I think we're going to get that ordered and hopefully it should be installed in October, which is so crazy and so exciting. Obviously the kitchen is like the heart of the home, so it feels really good to have it designed and like ready to go and practically ordered. Okay, my loves, we've actually moved upstairs because Indy is currently doing some revision for our first ever A level, A level downstairs. So this is what the kitchen looks like from above. Many, many, many micro decisions. I don't know whether I will take you through absolutely everything. Originally, we just wanted the island to just be a prep table, kind of an old fashioned way, but we just did not have the space along this run for everything. So now there are loads of utilities in the island, not the hob, um, because we are having a range. We're gonna have like a kind of freestanding range, I suppose. So yes, my mum has the hob in hers. That's why I mention it. So we've got a double sink, a dishwasher, a freezer, um, and a cupboard <laughs> in this island. We were going to have like a double fridge freezer, but we don't freeze a lot of stuff and it was taking up extra room along this run. So yes, this space here is going into, it's a cupboard like going into the basement. It's a little bit, I think I briefly explained it before, but this space we're not going to think about too much at the moment. Deval is not doing the inside for us, we're just doing the doors, but we haven't, we're not going to order the doors just yet because we don't know the measurements. So yes, all this run is coming and the island and we also put in a shelf on the other side which I think will be really nice. This will not be here um, because I don't think, I think it will just too, look too cluttered. Um, we have already got this table but yeah this is what it looks like from above. You can see this is this will be where our range is. We've also got a little prep sink. <laughs> the reason for this being we had about a million taps that we wanted so we wanted like the normal taps um the old-fashioned ones so the one my mum has downstairs because it's like modern you can like pull the top out and make it like um like spray tap but because we're having old-fashioned looking taps we can't do that so we have to have like a spray tap separately hang on the door's coming also kuka who does the kind of fancy taps <clears throat> the hot tap and the filter tap they also don't look that nice and old, but you can do like old versions of a filter tap by itself and a hot tap by itself. So yes, we have, we're gonna have a filter tap on this side for like, you know, drinking water. Um, and then we're gonna have a hot tap over the prep sink. So that's why we have a lot of sink going on. Obviously all this will be really good food prep space. But let's get into the good stuff. Well, this is the side with the dining room table. Um, again, I'm not sure we'll have room for this. We're gonna have some sort of built-in cupboard thing here. I think our contractor's gonna do that for us. And we've also got a window seat going on over here, but Deval will be providing this shelf. <laughs> so that's what it looked like on this side. <laughs> not super exciting. This is what the island will look like. Um, so the back of it will just be paneled. We thought about doing drawers, um, it's going to be a fairly narrow island, I suppose. It's only 900 uh, in depth. So by the time we put all of these in, we wouldn't have had a lot of space on this side. And honestly, just having Inez pull stuff out of cupboards constantly is a little bit annoying. And also this keeps it fairly simple and clean and we don't want the kitchen to look too cluttered. So this is the haberdashery island. I've seen no real life examples of it, but it looks gorgeous in their catalogue and um, if we can find a picture I'll put it on screen of kind of like a mock-up of what it looks like. So yes they have like four different styles of kitchen, haberdashery is one style and they mostly do the kind of haberdashery prep tables not these kind of panelled islands. I've not seen anyone have one so um, yes really excited about it. I think it's going to look beautiful. So you can see integrated dishwasher. I think the bin might be on this side actually. That might be the other pull handle thing here. The big double sink, it's huge, and an extra cupboard. So this is really the most exciting 
part. I mean, how nice does this look? Um, we've got a double pantry, then a fridge. So as you can see, if we'd added in like a double fridge freezer, I think it just would have um, taken up way too much room. And we really wanted the shelving. And this um, has actually allowed us to have quite a lot of nice symmetry going on on this side of the room. Double pantry as well, it's the stuff of dreams. Gonna hide the microwave in there, stuff like that. We've got the range here and two sets of kind of pan cupboards, an extra little cupboard here, covered under the prep sink, and then some nice shelving up above. We've also got a pot filler for the pots. But this is the best. So there you can get an idea of what the pantry will look like when it's open. I'm sure you've seen me um, open a lot of pantries <laughs> in this vlog um, because we've seen a lot of beautiful ones over the past few weeks um, and I'm so excited about it. It's going to obviously be where we store pretty much all the dry food. So that is super, super exciting. I can't wait to have it in and for you to see it. We are off. I don't know when this video is going to come to you. It might be when we are already away, but Zach and I are off on a trip to America. We're going to see my dad. We're gonna, my mum's coming out as well for the second half of the trip. We're going to be with her. So there won't be many house vlogs for a few, a couple months probably. We're leaving next week, so I thought it'd be best to wrap this one up with the final kitchen design. Really, really glad we got that sorted before we left because that was on our list of things to do before we left. Um, we've got a few bits to order for the bathrooms. As you know, we have designed on our tiles for the loft bathroom. And I think we're kind of coming to decisions about Inez's bathroom. So I will start a new house vlog probably before I leave, but it won't be arriving on your screens for a couple of months. But yes, bathroom designing <laughs> continues. Hopefully when we're back, there's gonna be big change. They are obviously starting preparations for the kitchen now. So as I've mentioned, we've gotta drop the floor the existing floor so they are starting digging next week i think so i think by the time we're home from our trip we should be seeing like a big big difference in the house i really really hope <laughs> so many little things happen behind the scenes that sometimes progress can seem really slow like all the electrics and all that kind of thing but i think the next stage is like a big visual stage so hopefully um that'll be really exciting so keep your eyes peeled for that in a couple of months time but for now, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Bye.